What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Before I get started with the tutorial, I just wanted to just stop everything that I'm doing to really say thank you. We hit 10K subs guys. The channel growth has been incredible for the last two months and it's all because of you guys, all because of your constructive criticism, the feedback that I get on the channel, the likes, you guys just viewing my, my work, you guys complimenting whatever I'm doing and it really just boosts me up. It gives me that gas to be able to go the extra mile for you guys. For all the new subscribers that I have in the channel, I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of where I come from and how I started this channel and how I started cutting hair. So initially I was going to school 2018, working two jobs, I was a valet driver and I was tutoring math at a tutoring center called Mathnasium. I was helping, you know, high school, elementary, um, middle school kids with math. And I was doing ballet on the weekends and also going to school full time in 2018. I wasn't cutting hair. Then things happened. I was going through a lot, you know, I was going through a breakup. That breakup kind of pushed me to find myself and really do some deeper soul searching. After that, I changed my mind about what I wanted to do with my life, with my career, and that pushed me in the direction to start being an entrepreneur and a barber, you know, a YouTuber that I am now, I guess you can say. But that pushed me to really find myself. I started doing personal development. I started working on myself. I started doing doing meditation. I started working out harder. I just started pouring more into myself and I just created a vision for myself and that allowed me to jump into barbering full time, which was at the start of June of 2018. And I paid off my school debt. I decided to drop out and I decided to quit both my jobs to pursue my dream of barbering and being the best barber in the world. That was my thing, that was my vision and I just created a whole plan and I wrote it out and I just, I've been sticking to it for the last two years and that's how I started, no clientele. I was making about $150 a week cutting hair while I still had bills, I still had things to pay for. I had $153 to my name. My business structure when I started in 2018, I was charging 15 to $20 a haircut and I was maybe doing like three to four to five haircuts a week. Now I'm charging 50 to 50, 50 dollars, 65 with the beard, and I'm doing about 40 to 50 haircuts a week. If I do um, put it in my schedule to be available for that time, the demand is there. The growth has been insane for the past two years because I decided to invest in myself. I had the vision and I had my plan and I stuck to it. It took me to the, po to the point where I was investing in myself and I felt like I had a lot to give. So I started to, you know, I started YouTube. So I was like, how can I create content to the point where I would have helped the younger me, that person that knew nothing about anything that about barbering, nothing about fading, nothing about how to erase the bald line, nothing about how to do guidelines or how to erase guidelines or what clippers to buy, how to raise your prices, how to edit content, how to film content, all of that. I didn't know how to do any of that. So that's why I started this channel was to help you guys out, to help that beginning barber that knows nothing. So this channel is dedicated to the younger me and in the process is gonna help you guys that are starting or you guys that are just watching this channel to get some gems. That's about it. I really appreciate you guys sticking through and really following me on this journey to becoming the best barber in the world. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing a mid fade. The top is about a number eight. I didn't touch the top. It's a mid fade with no hooks with the beard. This is gonna be a reposted video. When I posted this tutorial, it didn't get that many views and I just wanna see if it can reach more people because this tutorial is fucking fire. You guys are gonna get a lot of gems and the end result is crazy. It's a blurry ass mid fade and you guys will be able to take a lot of gems and a lot of keys that you guys can apply at home or at the shop or whatever. It's gonna enhance your skills. So just tune in, grab a notebook, take some notes, watch it and then go apply it that's about it guys i'll see you guys in the tutorial peace youtube what's going on guys it's david i'm back with another tutorial i'm gonna break down the tutorial like i always do step number one we're gonna grab our trimmers and set our first guideline followed by opening our lever to create our second guideline we grab our one guard and open up the lever to create our third guideline we erase that guideline we erase the second guideline and then we get this end result right here if you guys find any value in my education, I'd really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. This is gonna be a near perfect mid fade. And we're gonna start off the tutorial first by examining our client and really identifying where the back of his occipital bone is. That's where my client's occipital bone landed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my first guideline with my Babulous Skeletons. They're, they are zero gapped. And then we're gonna start there from the corner of the temple of the hairline. And we're gonna dip it down towards the back of his occipital bone. So once you guys set your guideline, you guys wanna do it on one side of the head first and then do the next side so you guys can match it and make sure that they're both even. It looks a little dropped, 
but I, I kind of adjusted it on the other side and made it even throughout the whole head. So once the guideline's set, all you want to do now is just remove the bulk. I'm not gonna leave any details behind on this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys all my keys so right here when you guys balled out your client you want to make sure you guys leave a tiny bit of room just so you guys can go ahead and ball that area below that my finger I'm using my finger as a guide so I'm not going all the way up as you guys can see there so I can leave a little bit of room there so I can go ahead and use my trimmer and ball that line out just so it can be a lot a lot smoother transition from that bald to stubble transition that's gonna give you guys that pop. You know, it's gonna make it easier for you guys to blend out that line. So I go from using my Bronze Series 9 shaver to this single foil shaver from Babyless. If you guys do have the extra equipment, I would say go go for it. You know, use every single tool to the best of your abilities. Here I flip my Babyless skeletons upside down so I can use the sharper side of the blade so I can make that transition way smoother and it's going to be a lot easier for me to blend out that line i get a lot of questions how do i blend out that zero line but that's the best way to blend out your zero line after blending that zero line out we're going to grab our two guard with the lever open and we're going to flick out towards the top of his parietal ridge area the parietal ridge area is just the corner of his hairline and you just draw a straight line across the back of his head and that's basically the pour out ridge area so we want to keep that area as dark as possible because that's what's going to give you know that transition from darkness to lighter and the contrast of your fade is going to really determine the blurriness of your fade so all you guys want to do is just keep repeating the same steps you guys can see how i'm gliding across his head i'm not really digging the guard inside his head or you know it's just moving smoothly with the shape of his head then we grab our three guard and we're gonna blend out that line that you guys see and we're gonna just flick out with the lever open and then we're gonna close it as we go lower into the head just to make sure that we have the foundation of our fade set so we can go ahead and set our guidelines so the next step is we're gonna grab our babyless gold fx these are zero gap and then we're gonna open up the lever and we're gonna create a guideline that's around one finger thick and we're gonna do that across his whole head and make sure you guys just stay consistent with the strokes and you guys use the whole blade of your clipper remember guys that consistent guidelines equal consistent fades After setting that guideline, the next step is to grab your one guard and open up the lever and just repeat the same step. Super simple, consistent strokes, just apply the same method, one finger thick, do it across the whole head, and then that's going to set you up to have a great foundation for your fade. I'm gonna assume that you guys have never touched a pair of clippers before so that's why I'm gonna explain to you guys what I'm doing here you guys see that first guideline is a 0.5 which is a half and the second guideline is a 1.5 which is the one guard with the lever open to get rid of this guideline all we got to do is put our lever in the middle hit that guideline in the middle open up the lever then we're gonna hit the whole thing then we're gonna close our lever and we're gonna hit it at the very beginning just baby tap that line and step number four is just to continue to repeat rinse and repeat that method until you guys erase your guideline if you guys have gotten any value out of this education so far please guys hit that sub button give me a thumbs up i appreciate you guys but let's get back to the tutorial i'm just going to show you guys that section that i'm working on just so you guys see that you know i don't really erase my guidelines that fast you know everybody we're all human you know sometimes we we get the illusion that we watch these youtubers and they speed shit up and it's just like they make it look so easy everything takes time you guys can see here i'm um, just moving slow 
you know, taking my time, making sure that the, I'm hitting the guideline in the middle, you know, I'm moving my lever, I'm going a little bit higher, and I'm just rinsing and repeating these steps. So once you guys see that, you know, it does take time, you guys have to take your time, be detailed, use the corners of your clippers, do that multiple times, get your reps in. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up for you guys now that you guys got the concept of you know erasing that guideline the same method applies for the whole head i'm gonna be using different lever methods for different guidelines i just find it easier for me to erase that first guideline with putting my lever in the middle and hitting the guideline in the middle it just works best for me you guys have to figure out what, what works best for you guys and see what method applies but you guys can start with the lever closed and then go middle and then open it up you guys can start with the with the lever open been whatever works for you guys you guys can see here how i blended that first guideline really nice there's no dark spots everything's nice and crisp and you guys i'm gonna show you guys how to erase the 1.5 guideline it's the same thing we're gonna grab our one guard close the lever now we're not gonna start in the middle we're gonna close it then we're gonna hit it in the middle then we're gonna open it up and hit everything and this is just gonna soften up your line then we're gonna repeat the steps like I always tell you guys, it's just repeating the same steps over and over again. But remember, guys, this is only going to soften up that line. It's not going to fully erase it. You guys will see once I'm done using my one guard, it's not going to be fully blended because we're going to fully blend that line out with our 0.5 guard. Like I told you guys, it's not gonna blend it out. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go closed to open method. We're not gonna start in the middle. We're gonna close our lever, grab our 0.5 guard and baby tap that bottom line. I like using the gold FX because it has five levels on the lever. It's a notch system. So every time I use my 0.5 guard, I have to be really careful on how high I go because one single mistake can really cost me the blurriness of my fade. So I make sure that I use this clipper because it has five levels and I can go and be consistent. Every time I open the lever, I know exactly that it's going to stay there and it's not going to move. We're almost done with our fade guys we already used the three guard and the two guard on that parietal ridge area so all we got to do now to make this fade work make it come to life is just use our 1.5 guard we're going to start with the lever open here we're not going to start it with it closed or in the middle and we're just going to flick out we're going to use the corners of our clippers and flick out towards that towards that top line and you guys see how i'm angling my clipper you know his hair growth is growing in that direction and then towards the back of his head it grows in a different direction so i have to make sure you guys have to make sure you guys examine your client and make sure you guys are going in the opposite direction going against the grain of the hair growth so you guys can get this desired result right here so after we're going to do the lineup there's really no secret guys when it comes to getting that crisp lineup it's just making sure you guys know your tools you guys know how much power your tools have and making sure you guys use a nice soft wrist and let your machine do all the work guys one of the mistakes that i used to make i applied way too much pressure on my clippers thinking that if i just went a little harder with my wrist that i'd get more power out of my clippers but that's false your clippers are engineered to cut hair the lighter the wrist the more you get out of your clipper not gonna go that deep into this beard you know if you guys want me to drop a beard tutorial let me know in the comment section all that I do here is I just really just line up his beard according to his facial structure I fit his beard into his face and that's about it guys I'm gonna go ahead and just speed this thing up for you guys
so this is the before guys my, my guy came in he was looking rough he you know he hadn't cut his hair in like three weeks but this is the after guys once you guys apply the same techniques the same lever methods you guys will be able to execute a fade like this nice clean and blurry you guys see the darkness to the lighter side of the contrast of the fade his beard fits his face his facial structure i actually took a picture a nice clean picture right here from my instagram I got to show you guys both sides. Both sides were even nice and crisp. You guys see both sides are even. The fades are the same. If you guys enjoyed this education, guys, subscribe to my channel for more. I dropped another video. Check that video out. You know, I love you guys. I appreciate all the support. Peace.